Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about upcoming projects that I have lined up that I'm going to finish in the near future. So please watch the video and let's get started. Number one is in today's list is the 3D printer project. It's going to be a Delta 3D printer built from scratch. A new frame will be built from a much stronger and sturdier material like one inch and a half 80-20 aluminum profile. The delta rods will be made out of hollow carbon fiber rods with outer diameter 8 mm. The linear motion will be done using precision ground linear guides and bearings. I'm still debating myself whether or not I should use stepper motors or servo motors for the drive system for this 3D printer. And here I'm just showing off what I've done so far to the printer already. This is an all custom made hot end and everything except the nozzles is the custom made part. The extruder got a new drive wheel, filament drive wheel that I also made myself and very proud of it. Number two in this list is a custom made solid oak door which I'll probably be getting to the fastest. So these are the general dimensions of it and these are parts they have prepared already. It, it was glued from a three quarter thick uh, red oak boards. Now this project is the most urgent one so I'm gonna be posting a video of its completion pretty soon in the very nearest future. The number three project I have lined up is probably the craziest one. What it is, I'm trying to see if I can build a fully functional, nice sounding subwoofer using nothing but six by nine speakers. I've been dumpster diving and acquired a couple dozens of these speakers. So all I need now probably is the good amplifier to test it after I'm done with this. And any help getting an amplifier for me would be greatly appreciated. Next project is the grass collecting attachment for my lawnmower. I already welded this chute um, from a sheet metal, aluminum sheet metal. Now there is nothing to brag about as far as uh, nice looking welds and all that. I'm not saying they're perfect but they should hold up. It is welded on both outside and inside of each seam and looks like this. It will be attached to the mower using those two thick tabs. After I drill a hole in them and put a pin it will still be swinging up if needed. It's got a 6 inch diameter output port which I will connect this 6 inch flexible hose to it that was kindly donated by a construction worker nearby. This hose will, will be delivering grass blades and leaves up to something that I'll still be putting on top of the mower like a bag or a collector of some sort. I'm still thinking about that. Next on the list is the wind turbine project. This project I started long, long time ago. I don't even remember where I got this paperwork from. I know I must have downloaded it online and it's pretty descriptive and uh, takes you through step by step how to build a wind turbine. Why five phase, you, you might ask? Well, just because I can. And so far, I got as much done as build my stator, which consists of 10 coils cast in resin already, all wired up and ready to go. And why do I have those holes in each coil, you might ask? I, I was thinking of putting um, iron core inside of each coil 
maybe it'll help uh, boost the output of the generator I don't know I'll test and we'll find out also I got these magnets I bought them online from a magnet selling store but these magnets are neodymium half inch by one inch by two inch and they are stupid strong like you would not believe how strong they are the pack consists of 24 magnets and they weigh 8 pounds so this one magnet through my hand lifts up the entire pack of magnets that's how strong they are so needless to say you must be very careful while handling them the last but not least in this list is the, of course the CNC machine project actually I'm thinking about building two CNC machines one will be a um, stronger mill kind of with a smaller envelope kind of machine using stronger materials like this profile maybe or maybe I'll go with a steel tube like 4x6 or 4x8 steel tube and some heavy duty linear guides like these these are 30 millimeter wide precision ground roller linear bearings they are enormous after looking at all the stuff that I got over the years I concluded that I have enough materials to build two CNC machines and the second one I'm thinking will be a bigger envelope like 8x5 or 8x4 feet um, CNC router like these linear guys that you see they are 30 millimeter fully supported uh, linear rails and they are 12 foot long so I probably can build a 10, uh, 10 foot by 5 feet uh, envelope machine there too so the long ones will be used for the x-axis and these probably will be for the y-axis on the machine these are 20 millimeter wide uh, linear guides so if you found anything of what you just saw interesting hit that like button please also share and subscribe for more videos and let me know in the comments what you think thanks for watching and have a good day